If you have a sewing machine, a little yarn, a straight stitch, and you can count to two, then this twisted thread technique is something you can do very easily. Depending on your yarns you pick will give you different looks on your fabric. And this is one of our bonus techniques in our Stitching Cosmos class, which you can check out below this YouTube video. There are 10 videos you can watch for free. And see what the online course for Stitching Cosmos is all about. This is all about creating unique techniques. There's actually 25 different techniques and we covered over 18 presser feet for both the Bernina, Foff, and Husqvarna Viking sewing machines. And we'll link over to those great videos that you can check out. But I wanna show you how easy this is to do. I have a piece of fabric. I have put some stabilizer on the back. That's one of our free videos you can watch, learning about why we need to stabilize our fabric. You need to have some yarn. And uh, today I'm actually gonna be using like a variegated yarn. So I've actually kind of turned it so it will be opposite colors when I go to twist it together. If you have an open toe foot, put that on. That will make it just a little easier to follow the line that you are uh, stitching on. And if your machine has needle stop down, that is also gonna make it a little easier. Now, some machines go one step further where you can take the straight stitch and tell it how many repeats you want it to stitch. In this case, I'm gonna start with two repeats, and then that way, every time it stops, it's gonna stop after two stitches. Now, if you don't have that feature on your machine, you can just count to two and twist. This twisted technique can be done with numerous types of yarns, thick, to, thick ones, thin ones. If you're gonna do two together, go ahead and tie a knot at the beginning before you start, and then that way we can just hook it around but for today, being that this is all one type of fiber, I'm going to just start by sinking my needle down into the fabric, lifting up the foot, and then bringing the thread around the back of the needle. This will just get us started. A couple locking stitches could also help at this point, kind of keep things started without kind of moving around. So if you do want to back up a few stitches or just do a few stitches in place before we start our counting. So here we go. We're going to count one, two, and then twist. So as we twist, we can go ahead and twist it over the top of the needle. Now this machine has that feature where I can just set it for the two stitches. So I'm gonna step on my foot control, stitch one, two, and twist. Now you can see why the open toe foot is quite handy because then I can stay on this line while I'm using my two hands to twist. Now this is not a fast technique, but it is actually one that I often teach my students in the Stitching Cosmos online course, that this is a great way to cover things up. It's a couching technique. Uh, you can change a lot of different looks. Um, so covering things up, meaning like if you made a mistake, or maybe you did a decorative stitch, and then you wanna add a little embellishment over the top of the stitch. Like who does that? But our students that do Stitching Cosmos, they know that I love to embellish, taking it one step further as we stitch. So you can just go ahead and stitch. It's, it is something that you can try out different stitch lengths. So if you did have a heavier cord, then you're gonna go ahead and stitch maybe with a stitch length three or three and a half, or maybe count to three instead of just to two. So just find what actually works. I also have right now pink thread in my needle, so that sometimes shows, sometimes does not. So if you're concerned about that extra color being visible, what you can do is match your needle thread to the fiber that you are stitching. And before long, you have added a fun technique. So please subscribe to our YouTube videos, check out our Stitching Cosmos online courses, check out those free videos as well, and I would love to see you in class soon.